We uh, <clears throat> we also obviously, 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 the main event, uh, the fight we all came for, the fight we all stayed for, uh, the fight that didn't disappoint. Let's be honest. It, whether you wanted Deontay to win or you wanted Tyson to win, the fight wasn't a disappointment. Um, we got 10 rounds, 11 rounds. Uh, let me double check this, but it, I believe it's 10 rounds of of action, of action, uh, heavyweight action. <laughs> Unlike the AJ fight with Usyk, which was a mess. But uh, congratulations to... to uh, <clears throat> Congratulations to Tyson Fury on a a job well done. 11th round. 11th round knockout for Tyson Fury uh, against Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury essentially did what he did the first two fights. This third fight was almost a combination. It was like a mix of the first two fights. Um, Tyson dominated. He knocked uh, Wilder down a bunch of times. Wilder actually knocked him down twice, surprisingly. Uh, not because of Wilder's power, obviously he has a bunch of power, but because of when it happened, he was already fatigued at that point. He um, he was getting he was getting beat up. He looked tired um, from the beginning, and I think that extra weight, like he's getting up there in age. Uh, people, you might not be able to tell it um, by how he looks, but he's older than Tyson Fury. Deontay's the older of the two fighters. He's thirty five. Like Tyson's 32, while Deontay's 35. Deontay came into this fight about 238, I think about 240, uh, which is the heaviest. Yeah, 238, which is the heaviest he's come into any fight. Um, it, it wasn't. I think sometimes fighters do what seems like the right move, but it's actually counterintuitive. So Deontay, whether he had, con I'm, ass I'm assuming he could have brought that weight down a bit. Um, and if he did, it would have been a better game plan. Coming in a little heavier, I get it. Tyson Fury is a bigger man. So you think, oh, let me go in heavier against the heavier man. Seems to make sense. Except when you think about Deontay's power and where it's generated from. It's not size. It's that twitch. It's that, that that speed that he can generate, that power that he generates from his speed, from his, I mean, he doesn't have the greatest of techniques, but that right hand comes out like a, like a shotgun because of how he's been able to just throw his all into it without having that added weight, that extra weight on him. Um, yeah. And this is clearly the heaviest he's come in. His last fight against Tyson Fury, he came in 231. And he talked about being tight. He talked about the suit and how it was too much. It was the weight, brother. It was the weight that was weighing you down. Against Luis Ortiz, which was his fight, his last fight without this trilogy, <coughs> um, or his last fight before the last two, he came in at 219. Dominique Brazil, he came in at 223. The, t the first Tyson Fury fight where he dropped him and he didn't look fatigued, he was 212. His hit 240 is a lot of weight for a guy whose legs look like sticks. Um, and that's just not his that's not his style that it doesn't fit his style having all that added weight. Um, plus the fact Tyson Fury is just a superior boxer. He's a better boxer. Um, he knows how to throw his weight around. He knows how to move around a, a ring. Like he understands ringmanship. <clears throat> there were moments where they were in the clinch and they were being separated by uh, the referee. I can't remember who refereed this this fight, uh, but he did a pretty good job. <laughs> uh, he did a pretty good job trying try to Russell Russell Mora did a shout out Russell Mora. He did a pretty good job keeping these behemoths, keeping these giants away from each other at times, I guess. Um, but it was <clears throat> it was Tyson who understood how to get out, not only get out of the clinch, but get out of the corner when he's doing that. When the referee breaks and I circle around the, and he circles around the, the referee before we even get back into action, 
That's just knowing the ring, being in this sport for so long, studying it, understanding it from the inside, from the outside, his father being a boxer, his brothers being boxers. It's just a different level. Deontay Wilder came into this sport for very different reasons than Tyson, than Tyson Fury did. And I think we have to respect Deontay. I think Deontay, one, people talk about Deontay like he's he's a bum. He lost to the best heavyweight in the division. And he made it competitive when he's not the greatest of boxers from a technical standpoint. He's obviously, he's 42 and 2 and one draw. The two losses and the draw came from the same dude who's the best heavyweight of his era. Let's be honest. And he beat the last heavyweight true champion in Klitschko. So, I mean, yeah, Deontay took a tough loss. He, he didn't take the loss very well either. But he still probably second, third of his generation. You know, if you put Anthony Joshua ahead of him, I guess. But as a heavyweight during this time, he's made it interesting. Shout out Deontay Wilder. Shout out Tyson Fury. Shout out uh, Anthony Joshua, too. And Usyk for beating AJ the other day. But great night of fights. Um, happy that happy that it, the trilogy is over. I mean, if Deontay won, this could go on forever. If Deontay had won that fight, we were going to get another one. Tyson would win. And then we'd have to get another one. So, uh, th yeah, I guess this is, this is the best way to wrap it up. So thanks, Deontay. Thanks, Tyson.